Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about myself like that. <laughs> so I would say my earliest memory of racing is uh, watching my uncle, or both my uncles, Max Pappas and Christian Fittipaldi racing the Daytona 24 Hours. As a kid, I grew up watching them race and uh, staying up all night in the motorhome and in Daytona infield is, uh, yeah, that's basically what gave me the passion to, to start racing. It's amazing. It's a, it's a big privilege for me to be part of a racing family um, because, you know, they know a lot about motorsport. And I was basically born into it, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. Since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be a, a race car driver. And uh, to have a family that understands a lot about racing, uh, for sure, is extremely helpful. I would say, yeah, round four was when I drove uh, my first go-kart. It was like a little kid cart that my dad gave me. And we were living in Florida and he would take me to Homestead um, and a little track called Opa which is like a parking lot uh, karting track. And I started with that. Um, and then probably when I was around eight or nine, I mean, I already knew that I wanted to be a race car driver. I knew how difficult it was. Since the family was involved in everything, I knew that it's, it's not easy um, to be able to make a professional career out of racing. Um, but uh, we, we chased after it, and both me and my brother are you know, racing at a very high levels nowadays. So um, I'm, I'm very happy with, uh, with how it went, but it's for sure never easy. Yeah, so what excites me the most about IndyCar is, uh, is the racing. I mean, for me, IndyCar has the best racing in the world with the amount of overtakes, with the different winners you have throughout the season. Um, even, you know, sometimes you have a bad qualifying, but you go out in the race, you start 20th, you have a good strategy, good ra race pace, and you can win the race. And I think that's what makes IndyCar exciting. And as well, the oval racing. I know some people might not like oval racing. I love oval racing. I love watching oval racing. So uh, for me, it's the, the, the perfect uh, uh, package. And uh, what made me come to IndyCar full time is for sure the, the opportunity to, to come race at uh, Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan. You know, it's a, it's a race winning team, a team of uh, very high caliber. And, uh, you know, I'm very grateful to, you know, to Mr. Ray Hall, Mr. Letterman and Mr. Lanigan for, for the opportunity, something I've been working towards for a long time. So I think definitely one of the challenges is, you know, I don't know uh, a lot of the tracks, so a lot of the race weekends I'm going to have to um, put it in a different gear and try to adapt and learn as quick, quickly as I can. Um, it's a new race team for me, so just getting to know everybody, but I'm sure we're going to gel in uh, pretty quick. And there's not a lot of testing before uh, the race season starts. So, you know, you have very limited time in the car and then boom, you're ready in the first race weekend. So that's going to be a challenge. I would say some of the advantages um, is the experience. You know, over the years, several years working in, in Formula One, I've been six years with Haas. I've done a lot of uh, testing. I've, I've raced for Haas in Formula One in you know, high pressure situations. I think that experience builds up over time. Racing as well, you know, big races like the Daytona 24 Hours, 24 Hours of Le Mans, um, racing Super Formula, DTM, Formula E as well. We did a lot of uh, testing and stuff for Jaguar. So, um, just all that experience um, built me as, as a driver and I feel like this opportunity in IndyCar came um, in my prime and in the perfect moment of my career. So uh, I feel like I'm ready. I know the challenge ahead, um, but I, I feel like I, I'm, I'm ready to do a, a great job. So there are big differences in F1 and IndyCar racing, both series. Uh, are amazing. I know sometimes there's rivalry uh, between IndyCar fans and F1 fans, but honestly, both are amazing. The F1 cars are unbelievable to drive. Um, you know, the, the cornering speeds, the braking power that they have is uh, it's like a spaceship, basically. IndyCar, on the other hand, they're very fast cars. You know, the speeds you're doing on, for example, Indianapolis 500. Remember in 2021, I averaged uh, 230 miles an hour in qualifying, which is absurd. Uh, speeds and you know the, the adrenaline uh, that you have racing on an oval is unlike anything else. I believe IndyCar racing as well is the best in the world. Um, you never know who the winner is going to be 
and I think that's what makes it uh, extremely exciting. Yeah, so to be you know the next full-time uh, Brazilian American in the series is uh, is very special. Uh, Brazil has a lot of history in motorsport, um, not only in IndyCar um, but in F1 as well and endurance racing. And to be able to to race in IndyCar full-time to represent you know both Brazil and and the U.S. is um, yeah, it's uh, it's a unique uh, opportunity and uh, it's a privilege for me and uh, try to carry on this, this history in, in the best way possible. So looking forward to, for sure, the Indianapolis 500. Um, I think it's not only the track, but like the whole event for the Indy 500 is super special. You're there for, you know, two and a half weeks living inside the track in a motorhome and all the adrenaline and energy that the whole team uh, puts into uh, trying to win the race is is, uh, is a thing of its own, so it's, it's incredible. I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, what's going through your mind uh, when you're walking through you know, Gasoline Alley on the Indy 500 race day is, uh, I think first, I don't know, it's a, it's a special feeling. It's like, you know, you, you're, you're getting inside the car for the biggest race in the world, and everybody's trying to win that race. You know the energy that it took over the past two weeks on you know, doing hundreds of laps at the track, trying to make the car better, uh, trying to work on pit stops, working on strategy for the race. And then you walk through that alley and it's, it's race day, baby, and uh, it's gotta get in and uh, drive it as fast as you can. Um, and then just standing on the grid there with 300,000 fans is, uh, is uh, spectacular. Yeah, so to be able to um, you know bring back the Fittipaldi name, racing full time in IndyCar, is uh, is very special for me. My family has a lot of history, um, not only with uh, my grandfather Emerson, but with Christian as well, and my uncle Max Pappas. They're all IndyCar race winners, and my grandfather won two Indy 500s, won an IndyCar championship. Um, so it's uh, it's very special, and uh, the goal is to carry on the tradition to to keep winning. I know the challenge ahead, um, but the way we got to approach it is just uh, work as hard as possible and uh, take it uh, one race a weekend at a time. So some of my hobbies is uh, I like playing video games. I do play some, some Call of Duty with my brother. Uh, we've always lived together and stuff, so in the UK where we live at the moment, uh, yeah, we, we play some, some Call of Duty on our on our off time, uh, I follow the NBA, so I'm a Miami Heat fan. Um, I, w I didn't bandwagon when the trio came in, when it was LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. I was a Heat fan from way before that. Um, and yeah, and I, I follow uh, soccer as well. So I go for a team of Palmeiras in Brazil. And uh, when I can follow their games, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm watching all of that. No, I have no. I you know I I don't have any race day superstitions. Um, what I do uh, do before I get in the car is uh, I always drink some coffee before I get in. I, I love coffee. I actually had to manage it a little bit because I was drinking around four or five cups a day, and I had to uh, lower it down. So that's something I'm working on. But for sure, before qualifying or the race, I'm gonna have uh, you know one or two espressos get me going before I get in the car.